most proud of in the 49 year history of Ray. Wow, 49 years. Keeping the same pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> Without washing them. It's yeah. wonderful. Uh, uh, I think just being here, keeping, keeping, keeping the motor running and to, to have went through so much crap and to come out on the other side. There was a period in the late 80s, really after Rob left the band, where we were kind of stuck in America with like uh, 50 cents in our pockets. Yeah, we kind, of, we kind of slowly over that 30, 35 year period built everything back up again. Yeah, we kind of struggled because we put everything that we possibly had into the band. And that's financial, you know, physically and um, just working and everything. And, and really we had, as far as like a, a living situation, we didn't really have any results. We were living out of a suitcase pretty much. Actually, my suitcase was full of booze. And I was throwing my clothes away because I'd rather have bottles of uh, Johnny Walker Black Label with my clothes. That's exactly true. And then I put all the bottles of the Johnny Walker Black Label on the mantelpiece and I said, goodbye. I'm taking me clothes, enough of that. And I, I quit drinking for many years after that. I didn't really have a problem, but I just knew this wasn't a good idea. When I realized I was throwing my clothes away, that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> but um, as far as um, being the most proud of everything, I think what the initial idea of this band was to, um, as well, kids. We, we started this band, we didn't even play guitar. We just, we were just like, we're just gonna start a band and then we'll get some guitars and learn how to play. It was like, the, what do you think about it? It's the most insane thing possible. But um, here we are, uh, 49 years, and um, our intent was to be original. At least be not like somebody else. And I don't think that we've achieved that. I'm, I'm not trying to say that we're a totally original band but we've always maintained that idea and we're constantly, like for instance, we have our own song titles. We don't borrow somebody else's title for a song we, as we might have, but we try, we try to stay away from that. And we also try to uh, come up with riffs and ideas and subject matter and, and whatever part of the, the process is to be somewhat new and you know vibrant and, and not like, oh yeah, I've heard that before. So we've tried, and, it, and it, in that dynamic of metal, which is kind of a, a, a specific thing, it's not like very broad. We're not like, you know, having like, we don't do many ballads or anything like that. So yeah, I think that's my proudest thing about that is to maintain that. And if you listen to the new record, you're going to hear fresh ideas. You're not going to hear some, oh yeah, that, that sounds like this band. And that sounds like that sort of band. So that would be it for me. And after this amount of time to be a band that's putting out new music and not resting on our laurels and not saying, well, you know, our best years are behind us, we're just going to milk it for a few more and put out some substandard rubbish and here's a, you know, we're going to play 90% of our set from an album yeah. from 50 years ago. Because like you? people are constantly asking about, you know, are you going to play this song from an old album? And, and that, uh, them songs or them um, records are tied to the their coming of age, their youth, you know, like when they just were in high school or they were just getting ready to like, you know, I don't know, have sex for the first time or whatever else, drink for the first time, get drunk. So all these things, we're, we're really in competition with that, not with anybody else. We're trying to make the records much better than them records, trying to make them so they're more iconic. And I think like the, the previous album, uh, Metal City, a lot of the reviews said this is actually the best album. It's better than them albums, which to me is, is that's what we were trying to achieve. Yeah, because that's a huge thing fighting against that nostalgia thing. I mean, it's a famous story about the fan. These two kids stole a yeah. car and they had the cassette of All For One and they listened to it all the way across the country from the States. Yeah. As they were going to a show. They stole, they stole a brother's car, car to come and see us. They stole a brother's car and drove clear across the United States like three, three, four thousand miles. And then they ended up getting stuck on the beach and that's how they got arrested. But uh, yeah, like stories like that, I mean, it's hard to compete with that, you know, it's a youth. So anyway, that's what we, we are proud of. Right the world we